Alrighty, what a YouTube. I'm here with a Game Battles 1v1 Search and Destroy. And this is the round one, first map. And we're playing on Invasion here. I chose the bottom team first. Search and, destroy. and I believe I was lower ranked, but I allowed him to host first because honestly, you know, sometimes people don't know how to host a match. So, uh, in Game Battles, you know, this may be a little shady, but, uh, you know, if they don't get the rules right, they get the map forfeited. Alright, so they get the... They lose that map. So, get the rules right when you make a GB match. But other than that, um, this is the 1v1 Search and Destroy. And this one's special in particular because perks are not allowed. So, I finally realized that when I got to that point right there on the map because uh, I started hearing my own footsteps. I was like, what the heck? There's no ninja, no nothing. So, basically, rely on your headsets and sound whore the other person. You have to listen for their footsteps. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to find him. And 1v1s, um, to me, it's a clutch round every time because, you know, it's just you versus the other person. So to me, like, I get really excited, you know. I'm like, yo, it's just me and him. Just me and him. You know, we're going after the, uh, going after each other. He's going for the bomb. I'm going for him. You know, it's just, you know, I get a good rush out of it, especially in a 1v1. And right now I'm telling you guys I'm not a professional. No way. Nowhere close. And, uh... In this, in this video, I'm not going to give tips, but I'm going to tell you why I do the things I do in the video, if you know what I'm saying. Because, you know, I don't think I have the right to tell someone, you know, I'm not ranked 15 in the world. You know, so I don't think I have the right to tell anyone, you know, this is what you need to do. But I'm going to tell you guys what I did and the reason I do that, alright? So first thing here is, when you're going from this side of the bomb, he already planted it, I like to throw the stun grenades in the corner and behind the car to check to see if he's going to be there. Then I throw a Semtex over there in the corner, and he wasn't there, otherwise he would have shot me. But like I said, listen for their footsteps. I fake defuse the bomb, hear him coming, check that out. He comes out, and I barely get to defuse the bomb in time. In game battles, the defuse time is 7.5, and the plant time is 7.5. So yeah, you're going to have to get to the bomb as quick as you can, secure the area, get the bomb defused. Now, as you can see here, I'm using the SMG UMP 45, I think, and uh, uh, my recent doubles partner, Scrimps, he was ranked 8th in the world, but uh, we used to do doubles, now we don't. But anyways, uh, he told me to put on FMJ on this gun, no matter what, because you can shoot through bombs and shoot through walls and things like that. So, I don't know, at least in a 1v1, it doesn't matter if you have a silencer, because the other person is going to know where you are anyway after you shoot him the first time. But, uh, yeah, use FMJ, dude. You can shoot through the bomb when you plant the bomb on the other side, say he's, the person's defusing. You can shoot through the bomb and kill them. So, that's pretty cool. And, uh, it's a good example here because the, the other person I'm fighting here, my opponent, I already forgot his name. Anyways, he's not using FMJ, and he could have definitely killed me here. Watch. When I plant the bomb here, you'll see why. And like I said, headsets are good because I hear him coming. <laughs> Look at that spray up in his head. On his face. Anyways, as you can see, I did hear him coming. But he shot through the bomb twice. He could have killed me if he had FMJ. And uh, you'll see later his attachment. It really pisses me off. Like, the people who set up these matches know, like... They set him up because they're the best at their, that's their best game game type. So he set it up with no perks, right? And uh, this guy just like pissed me off <laughs> when I found out uh, what he was using as an attachment. All right. So I'm gonna fast forward right here. This is me basically playing defensively. I like to sit back when I'm using a assault rifle, throw my stun grenades at Alpha, and I like to watch the B alley here. Staying back. Um, I'm staying on these boxes. You guys can see later these boxes I jump on. These boxes are good because it provides you some sort of cover. And you can look over the, of course, the, uh, what's it called? The barrier there. And uh, check out what's going on. And like I said, I threw stuns at A. And uh, I'm just keeping my uh, my eyes out. My eyes peeled for this douchebag coming up here. Uh, I hate this feeling in game battles. When it's 1v1, you can't find the person. It's so annoying. 
So like I said, I like to play defensively on this side with an assault rifle. And I see him run towards Bravo, right? So I'm like, okay. I'm gonna start crouch walking over there so he doesn't hear me. And then, uh... See, either he heard me, or... This douchebag has a heartbeat sensor, dude. A heartbeat sensor. I was like, what the hell? Look at this. This pissed me off so much. Because then I realized, you know, there's no perks. So, you know, ninja is not going to work, you know? And I was just like, fuck. So is that why he knows where I am every time? He's just going to camp a bomb site, you know? And he does this this round. He camps a bomb site. And uh, the heartbeat sensor, thank God, uh, he had a slow reaction to the heartbeat sensor. But uh, yeah, in this match right, or in this round right here, I am moving up the right side. I like to change up my routes every time. That's always good in a 1v1. Changing up your routes. That's actually good for any game type, actually. Changing your routes, how you approach the enemy. Now, I'm just trying to look for this guy on the right side here, see if he's over here. It's always good to take your time in uh, these 1v1s because the time limit or the round limit is three, 3 minutes. So you have a decent amount of time to uh, look for your enemy. Now, I'm going to move down these stairs, and I have to be careful moving down the stairs, because, like I said, there are no perks, so you have to kind of, like, move slowly and evenly down the stairs. If you move too fast, you may slip and uh, make a noise. And even the slightest bump in the road, when you walk over it, will make a noise, and the enemy could hear you. Now here I'm moving up the side of these buildings here. I like the side of the buildings because it provides some sort of cover, almost. And like I said, he was slow with this reaction on his heartbeat sensor and he paid for it. He keeps his eye on the heartbeat sensor all the time. And uh, like I said, no perks. It just made me mad, dude. Really mad. I was like, if I would have known, I would have put a heartbeat sensor in one of my guns so I could use, you know, the heartbeat sensor. Have some sort of advantage or even out the playing field here. Now, this is the last round of the match. It's round 5, I believe. And uh, I'm using the M16. I'm moving up pretty uh, aggressively here. I'm in, the, uh, I'm in the midpoint, the midway of the map. Before, I was in the back third of the map. And now I'm in the midway. And I heard him over there in the corner. So, I'm looking for him, right? I'm a little cautious here. A little anxious, too. See if I want to move up myself. But I heard him again. And I'm just trying to sound whore him, and I find him in the corner, and I take my shot, and the shot counts. I win the round, or at least map one in game battles, and uh, this is like best two out of three, right? So I win the first map. I do have a second video of the second match, and uh, if you guys want to check that out, you guys can check back on this, cha uh, on this channel here, and I will have it up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please rate, comment. And subscribe if you feel like watching my future videos, alright? You guys are beast. Peace out.